Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about magnetron oscillator. So, magnetron oscillator is a type of uh, magnetic type tubes. Okay, in the beginning of this uh, microwave tubes, I have uh, given the classification of these microwave tubes into two types: so O-type tubes and M-type tubes. O-type tubes are nothing but ordinary tubes, or we can also call them as a linear wave tubes. And M-type tubes it is a second type, which is an M-type tube, also known as cross field tubes. Or that M stands for magnetic type. All the working of this entire oscillator, so based on the magnet, will be done. Okay. So coming to the operation and the working construction of this magnetron oscillator. So the magnetron requires an external magnetic field. I will write here magnetron magnetron requires an external magnetic field an external magnetic field with flux lines parallel to the axis of cathode flux lines parallel to the axis of cathode this field is provided this field is provided by a permanent magnet or electromagnet permanent magnet or electromagnetic which depends on the application of voltage the dc magnetic field the dc magnetic field is normal to the dc electric field normal to the dc electric field between DC electric field between the cathode and the anode the cathode and the anode see here the magnetic field is normal to the DC electric field if DC electric field is given in this direction this is DC electric field given in this direction then it is perpendicular to the the dc magnetic field dc magnetic field will be in this direction so dc electric field which is perpendicular to the direction of flow of dc magnetic field which is between which is occurred between cathode and the anode this is what the magnetic magnetism because of the cross field between the cathode and the anode because of the cross field because of the cross field between the cathode and the anode between cathode and the anode the electrons emitted from the electrons emitted from the cathode from the cathode are affected are affected by the cross field by the cross field to move 
in curved paths in curved paths okay so because of this cross field which is a, because of the magnetic field which is occurred between cathode and the anode the electrons emitted from the cathode or electron gun are affected by the electric field to move the curved to move in the curved path so if the dc magnetic field is strong enough if the dc magnetic field is strong enough strong enough the electrons will not the electrons will not arrive in the anode but return back to the cathode back to the cathode that means if there is a strong electric field, magnetic field is existed the electrons which are generated and flowing towards the anode again coming back towards the cathode and attracted by that so if you see this magnetron oscillator so the magnetron oscillator diagram will be construction is like this where it is having the output coupling loop see here this is the output coupling loop the oscillations which are generated here that we are collecting from this uh, uh, coaxial cable which is inserted here okay so totally here see here this is the resonant cavity this one is the resonant cavity here is a resonant cavity so here is a resonant cavity all these are eight different types of resonant cavities that are connected together to produce the oscillations because the resonant cavities are used to oscillate the frequency oscillate the um, signal at one particular frequency with a number of multiple of, uh, of oscillations so you can say the, the signal oscillated within this uh, cavities multiple times so this is copper anode block oxide coated cathode so this is the cathode material that has been coated with oxide and leads to the cathode heater see so in order to generate this uh, how we can say oscillations in order to generate the oscillations we need to heat this element because that is the main element to produce the electrons so those electrons are generated and traveling here and there in this uh, complete resonant cavities and produces the oscillations so the electron which generated from the cathode will take multiple paths a b c d and several paths are there that has been taken in different directions because of these eight resonant cavities and the heat produced at the cathode that will release the electron and gives in different directions that flows in the different directions because of this magnetic coupling okay so let us see the what are the various different paths that have been taken by these electrons so from this figure from the figure first one is path a path a see here if you see this one this is the path a so path a if there is no magnetic field if there is no magnetic field if there is no magnetic field present the electron would be drawn directly towards the anode in accordance with path a in accordance with path 
path a see here if you see this diagram if there is no magnetic field there is no magnetic field see this is the cathode and this is the anode material the electron which generated from this cathode will directly go towards this anode because there is no magnetic field there is no external force acting on this electron so the electron which originated from the cathode directly reaches the anode that is what path a refers to now coming to path b path b as the electron travels with a velocity as the electron travels with a velocity the axial magnetic field exerts a force on it axial magnetic field exerts a force on it when the magnetic field is weak when the magnetic field is weak the electron path is the electron path is deflected as shown see here see what happens as the electron travels with a velocity with velocity v the axial magnetic field exerts a force on it okay as it is moving with a constant velocity the axial because it is in the rotation which the electron has to reach the anode which is on the other side so that a force will be exerted on it and when the magnetic field is weak the electron path is deflected as shown here okay because of the weak magnetic field okay when there is no complete magnetic field that is path a because of the weak magnetic field it gives path b coming to path c however when the intensity of magnetic field is when the intensity of magnetic field is suddenly great when the intensity of magnetic field is suddenly great the electrons are turned the electrons are turned back towards the cathode back towards the cathode without ever reaching without ever reaching the anode accordance with path c accordance with path c coming to path d the magnetic field which is just able to return 
the electrons back the electrons back to the cathode before reaching the anode is termed is termed the cutoff field is termed the cutoff field as shown in path d okay so finally thus the when the magnetic field exceeds the cutoff value then what happens in the absence of oscillations all the emitted electrons return to the cathode and the plate current is zero and the plate current is zero so these are the different types of different types of paths so that the electron exists from the cathode to the anode and so that the oscillations are being generated when the magnetic field is given okay so if we observe this diagram we can understand that the electrons are returned back to the cathode because of the magnetic field when there is no magnetic field the electrons are completely traveling from cathode to anode which is nothing but in the path a and path b when the magnetic field slightly exerted uh, are increasing the magnetic field slowly there exists a force on electron so that the electron will be reflected back to the same place cathode as shown in the c and d okay so this is what the operation of the magnetic oscillator in the next class i will tell you the pi mode oscillations and the hull cut off and heart condition thank you